Hey guys, coming back uh, from town there yesterday. We got back in late, driving down to a campsite. I accidentally ran over a rabbit. Um, broke his leg, poor little thing was in pain. So, I got out and broke its neck as quick as I could, put it out of its misery. After doing that, you know, I apologised to it and then I decided to uh, to um, prepare it and eat it so it doesn't go to waste. So I'm going to get what I need to get. <laughs> Might cook a little fire, or cook it up on a little homemade spit roast on the beach. Um, and just collect the, and gather the materials I need and, and get into uh, cooking him up. Okay, so this is the rabbit that I harvested. There's a little bit of sand on him. I can't clean off because when I harvest him, harvested him last night, I buried everything, gave him burial, and um, when I came back to get him, a feral cat or a quoll or something had grabbed it and tried to drag it into the bush. So it's got a bunch of sand on it. Dirt. Cook off anyway. So there it is. He caught, he caught a rabbit. You can see Dad. where I ran him over. Daddy. It's really, it's really done some damage to his rear leg. All of that from was when I accidentally ran him over. Compared to that side, that's what it should look like. So. Poor little blighter. I was in a lot of pain. Um, yeah, so I, you know, put it out of its misery as quick as I could. And now I'm going to harvest it, and uh, and it's going to feed us as well. So nothing goes to waste. this copper to make an electrical circuit board. This is going to hold the rabbit onto the stick.
guys. So we've been trying to get a rabbit for a few weeks now. Uh, last night we finally got one. So um, yeah, a bit of an eye-opening experience. We kind of had to hide it from the kids first up. Lila, our daughter, is uh, <laughs> obsessed with rabbits. She absolutely loves them. So <laughs> she was really, really quite sad. But um, look, it's going to be an interesting thing. I've never tried it before. Um, Aaron's never tried it before. It's meant to be a really good meat. Um, it's, yeah, so this is our rabbit cooking on the campfire. I kind of said no to gutting it inside. Are you going to fry some? Just a little portion? I might have to trick my mind <laughs> and get over my head. <laughs> they say it tastes, uh, it tastes like chicken, but better. Yeah, it is. It's meant and to it's taste a bit like chicken. It's chicken as well. It's like a vegan it's, soup. It's quite a lean meat, isn't it? Like, it's really lean. It doesn't have much fat or sinew or, you know, any of that kind of stuff. And it's meant to not be gamey either. So it'll be interesting to see what it tastes like. I might let Aaron try it first and before I do. <laughs> see, wait and see what his reaction is first. <laughs> Here, I've got to go and split a bit more wood so I can finish cooking this rabbit. But I can't leave the rabbit unattended because these pesky little buggers will fly off with it. So I, I, uh, I have acquired my daughter to stand guard over the rabbit for a few minutes while I go and split some wood. What do you reckon, Lila? Can you do that? Guard the rabbit from the seagulls? <laughs> Thanks, Lila. Did we have any trouble? Nope. Got one seagull nearly got to the rabbit. Nearly got to the rabbit? You took your eye off the rabbit, did you? Don't back off, they'll be on the beach spit in a minute. Hi there. Well, if you've watched this far, uh, thank you. I think the content I provide is interesting and enjoyable, and you get something out of it, well, that's great. Please like, share, and subscribe. We're middle aged people who have been caught up in the system, um, going to a supermarket and buying our food. Everything's already, uh, already packaged and harvested for us being renters all of our life we haven't had the opportunity to grow or harvest our own food so this bus life thing is going to give us that opportunity and I'd just like to mention also that uh, 
Um, that was that's the first time I've ever uh, wouldn't say caught, but accidentally ran over. But it's certainly the first time that after accidentally running over wildlife, I've stopped and put it out of its misery. So I feel good in my heart for doing that. Come along, let's uh, have a taste. strangest like feelings about the whole experience was it was still like body temperature warm while I was harvesting the meat and it made, made it, I don't know, different. So every time you handle meat, it's like cold, isn't it? So guys, how the little rabbit got killed was we were driving on the road on the way back from Scottsdale and the rabbit ran under the tyre and Daddy broke his leg. So Daddy put him in the boot and the rabbit was in a lot of pain so he cooked the rabbit. Which is bad. Okay. <laughs> okay, here's the rabbit that's all cooked. Now, who would like to try a little bit? No! Just a, a tiny little portion. Like it, I'll try some. Yeah. I'll let you all know what, what it tastes yeah, Dad like. Yeah, goes first. And it's what the, it smells like. That's the test dummy. What does it smell like, Dad? It smells a little bit like fish. Like a piece of flake. It is tough, and I think it's tough because of the way we cooked it. A good old traditional beach stick style. No, it's, it's the same from the shop. The it is shop. a little bit tough, but it's it has a very sort of, you know, the, the, the breast of chicken, how it's really dry. Yeah, it's like got, the tenderloin area. Like mm, it. mm. The, it's got that dry chicken breast taste to it. Looks like chicken. Would you like to taste a bit? How about if I pick it's the exact same. Yeah, I'll yes. just pick a little portion off. It looks no, like it no tastes like bits. chicken. Just have a little nibble. It, it looks it looks and tastes like chicken. It's exactly what it tastes like, and you love chicken, Lila. Is it exact same? No, I hate rabbit. No, mate, it's 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 rabbit, but it looks and tastes like chicken. Can you have a little taste and see what you think? I don't know. How would you it know tastes. you don't like it if you've never tasted it before? Oh, it's because no? I've tasted it, new part. Big Milpara and... Oh, you've tasted rabbit at Big Milpara. Like you tasted broccoli. Like you tasted... Okay. Cabbage. This is the first time in my life I'm really funny about meats and food. This is like a really big deal to me. I don't really want to do it. It's a huge stepping stone for you. It's something I really... Oh, that's even... That's now a lighter. It's now a lighter. Alright, here goes nothing. One of the fussiest eaters I've ever come across. Hey, I'm a fussy eater. And you're, you're, eater. you're second in place. But let's get Mum's honest opinion of what it tastes like. It just tastes like chicken. But it's got a real, I don't know, kind of a really Wait, strong chicken flavour. Mm. Like, okay. really strong. It doesn't taste gamey though, does it? No, it's not gamey. Yeah. It's just a really strong, strong so, chicken taste. Cool. I think... My mind was still there, going, it looks all right. and it was struggling to and actually enjoy it because of what it was, so that mind over matter thing. Mm. Right, um, but I think that it's one of those things that if you try it so a few times, you'll begin to like it. Oh, and if you cook it a certain way as well, I reckon, I reckon it would really be really nice this, in a casserole. Wait, yeah. Wait. Like, because oh, I think it gets nice fun? and tender, oh, it's like slow oh, cooked. Oh, like, that slow cooked, it would be amazing. There you go. Even if you did, like, like okay, so rabbit serious, shanks. Now you you right chew it up and you tell the camera and tell the viewers what you think it tastes like. Noah, you're banned from YouTube. Oh, dude, how's it Noah, you're banned from YouTube. Oh, 